Hey, it's Mario here and it's time for another exercise science video and this time we're going into how many sets do you need to build muscle? So how many sets per muscle group per week do you need to optimize muscle growth? And this is a very controversial issue. A lot of people on the internet will claim that you just need low volume, high intensity type of training. So going into the gym for about 30, 40 minutes and lift uh, heavy weights and then just go out. You don't need to spend hours in the gym. That's typically a headline we see uh, among these uh, advertisements and marketers. So going on the other side of the spectrum, however, we have people claiming, well, you need two, three hours of training. You need to spend as much as you can in the gym to maximize muscle growth. And uh, which one of these is actually correct? So we look at science based to guide us. You know, that's where we look for answers. And um, luckily for us, there was a systematic review meta-analysis just published July 19, 2016, conducted by Brad Schoenfeld, Dan Ogborn, and James Krieger. I had the honor of meeting Brad and James just earlier in April 2016 at Bath uh, University. Amazing, amazing researchers, bringing a lot of good information, especially for us practitioners, which I can apply to myself and to my clients to optimize programs and get better results. So what they did in this uh, meta-analysis systematic review, they basically wanted to look at all the studies up to date. So any study that was conducted, that was looked at, Mus like volume and muscular growth. So they basically compared everything in the end, ended up with being about 15 studies where they looked at basically only healthy humans and uh, the studies had to last for about six weeks where they really measured the hypertrophic response to volume. And what the conclusion was that there was a clear indication that the more volume you do, the more you grow. So they started off with about just summarizing, grouping these studies when there was uh, one group, let's say they did about five sets per muscle group per week, and these people grew about 5%. And then those who were doing between five and nine sets per muscle group per week, they were growing about 7%. And then going further, those who were doing about 10 sets, 10 plus sets, they were growing about 10%, uh, they were gaining about 10%. So the issue here is basically, I mean, you can see it already. I mean, the more volume you do, the better the response is, the more you grow. So there's a clear linear dose response with the amount of volume that you're doing, reps times sets times weight, and the amount of growth. And what is volume? I mean, reps times sets times weight, of course. So you basically wanna make sure that you're doing more over time to induce that uh, adaptation where you're growing. So this brings us to my recommendation. So what do I recommend in terms of sets? Well, these were mainly untrained subjects in these uh, studies. So what I recommend really, if you've been training for a while, is that you start off with around 15 sets per muscle group per week, and then take it from there and adjust the program depending on your response. So if you're easily recovered, and if you don't feel like you're doing much, and especially if you're uh, having adequate nutrition, so you're not doing some kind of severe cut or anything like that, you're free, I mean, to even increase those sets. Go to 20, go to 25 sets per muscle group per week, especially if your recovery is really good. And again, I mean, th this doesn't mean that you shouldn't ever try low volume training because, I mean, what the study really said that you can build muscle with low volume training. And if someone doesn't have time and if you're super, super pressed with super stressful lifestyle, you're traveling, I mean, you can just tone down the volume and still get some growth there. And that's not even a question here. But if you're looking at optimizing growth, we're probably looking at phases where you're gonna do a lot of volume, like a lot of volume, a lot of work in the gym, then follow that up with lower volume phases and kind of cycle those, which is kind of called periodization. So periodize your training plan to kind of uh, manage your fatigue and at the same time to continue to grow and that's one big thing as you get more advanced the more volume you're gonna need and as a beginner you're probably well off with starting about 10 sets per muscle group per week will be fine and then you simply add more and more and the key with beginners is of course to master technique range of motion before you worry about adding a lot of a lot of weight I mean of course you want to get stronger but you want to make sure that when you're adding weight that you're not sacrificing technique and form and safety. So going further, I mean, what can we learn from this? Essentially is that uh, this, is this is a good recommendation to start off with, but we have to listen to how our bodies respond to this. As well as if I'm saying that you're doing, let's say 20 sets of chest per week, that doesn't mean that just the chest is working, especially if you're doing pressing compound movements, then we're involving our triceps, we're involving our anterior deltoid. So the way I look at it, let's say if I'm doing 20 sets of chest pressing per week, then I'm gonna say, well, that counts at least 10 sets for my triceps. So you don't need to add a ton more work for your triceps because it's already involved in 
the chest pressing. So that's kind of how you want to look and organize your training plan. You don't want to be like the bro who is <laughs> who's doing like 15 sets of triceps on top of all everything that he's doing for chest, which is hours and hours of work, typically all crammed up in one single day. And so that's, uh, that's generally not the approach we want. So if we look at the frequency research as well, we want to train each muscle group about two to three times per week. And then you want to take that recommendation plus this recommendation, you can be on a really good track with your training plan. So that is my recommendation here as well. Keep in mind that the repetition range was between six and 15. You want to train across all the repetition ranges. You want to maximize muscle growth. So uh, that is a little bit of science for you guys that you can apply. Look at your training plan, see if you're doing enough. Maybe you can do more. So <laughs> we'll take a look at that. Let me know in the comments below as usual if you have any questions. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.